Well, howdy folks. I want to do a quick video on natural gas for you. So this is the weekly chart on my broker's chart at Black Bull Markets. And um, you can see we're still within this channel. So not a lot has changed in terms of this channel. We're still trading in it. We did poke out through the top of it a couple of weeks ago, but we fell right back in after making this tweezer top right at the top of the channel. And then last week we had this big bearish candle. But have a look at the weekly chart. It's dominated by this big bullish candle three weeks ago. We had a tweezer top that we fell back down. We got down to the 78.6% Fibonacci level and the $3 round number level. And that's where we turned around. We gapped up over the weekend and we've just rallied back up into the middle of the range. And we're just at the center point of the channel right now. So we're really stuck in the middle in betwixt and between. Let's go to the day chart. So there's the day chart. There's that double top. Remember we were buying at the bottom. We got out near the top and then we sold at the top. We got out near the bottom and now we're buying again. Our position's long $3.10. Now just eyeballing this day chart. We had this roll of a gap at the weekend. There's the four days of the week, including today. That's this open candle right here. What you can see on the day chart this is a sort of ascending triangle. We've got higher lows on the daily candles and this flat top. That's a perfect ascending triangle. I've got a video on chart patterns, which I'll link at the end of this one, which I did this week actually, and includes the ascending triangle pattern. So, so check that out if you're not sure what an ascending triangle is. Now let's go across to the four hour chart. And there we see the same move, but on the four hour candles, there's the weekend rollover gap, there's the move up, the little pullback, and then we're just sort of moving up again. We've managed to get through the 20, the 50, and the 200 period moving averages on this four hour chart, but we're still below the 100 and this key resistance level Level at about $3.25. Our overall target is to get up into this gap. This is a pretty key level. You can see it was a gap on the way down on this first occasion. It then became a support level. And then we gapped through exactly the same price range on the second occasion over here. And we haven't returned to that gap yet. So that'll be the first port of call for this rally if we manage to get up there. That's around about $3.40 to 45 We need to get through that gap and then back up to these highs just around about $3.60 and then perhaps push on beyond that up to $4 and $4 plus. So that's our overall strategy on natural gas. You can see where those moving averages are. We've cleared most of them on the four hour chart. And we've cleared them all on the daily chart, except for the 20 period moving average, which we're just pushing through right now. If we can close above that 20, you can see we've been struggling to do that this week, but now we have a chance to do that. And then going to the weekly chart, you can see we're above the 50 and the 20 week moving average, which are in confluence down here, acting as a good support level. But we've got the 200, which is barely visible on this chart is too short and then the 100 way above us. So that's where we stand at the moment. We're aiming for this 200 period moving average on the weekly chart and that's at around about $3.80. We can get through that gap that I talked about earlier. That's this one here between 240 and 245. Then through the top of this channel and the previous highs around 260. Then the next port of call is $3.80 plus perhaps even $4. If you found this video helpful in your natural gas trading, please just take a second to give us a thumbs up and maybe even subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next one.